Like, let me do some crazy stuff. Nice, a potion. I want the... I want the... This, I want this. Rebellion. Here a noise. What time I go? Side quests are now available. Found inside regions of Hogwarts Park. That's right. Just go to buy it. Advance the story. Find the me. If I knew what they looked like, they would get easier. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, uh yeah. -huh. It kind of take a moment. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Play the game and you'll know. Like, play gobstones and you'll understand why everybody gets mad at me. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, I'm kidding. See, now I understand how this works. Oh, 
Oh, is this the divination class? Revelio. Palmistry model. The standing model of a hand to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it is either it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in the fourth light. Fourth light. Rebellion. Says, Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our This is Dangerous facility, our faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I agree, await your response. Warmest regards. Professor Matilda Weasley. Sorry. Oh. So that, yeah, that's what this is. It is the divination class. Well, I feel bad now. I just kind of just went up there and was I like, better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm working on it. What are you up to now? Looking for things. Huh. Oh, come here. There. Nice. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Whoa! Didn't expect that. Another door. I think this is this leads to uh, Gryffindors. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> How nice to see you, my young friend. Akio. Rebellion. Oh. Trophy room. This room contains the house cup 
Quidditch trophy Dueling trophies and other rewards given at the score. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand. It's a reminder value of hard work. Hogwarts are the guys you award war. Field of Harvard bestows a special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Maribel Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe to boba, t boba tubers, to bouncing balls. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Made the mistake of leaving my potion chain right in the common room. I'm convinced he's absconded with it. But it's always so noisy in the common room. And then I can't concentrate. So I end up just talking to everyone and nothing gets done. I'd much prefer it if everyone could simply use all of the common room. I'm not a fan of mine, and frankly I find the decor quite depressing. Ugh, don't get the password wrong is all I can say. Ugh, I can't wait to have a nap in front of the fire in the common room later. After Sharp's last class, I've earned it. Rebellion. There it is. Up oh, there it is. Accio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. House Elf Armor. His set of armor for the House Elf is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor could in fact be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disappeared, disappeared right out of it, never to be seen again. <laughs> and remember, don't ever give a gun. <laughs> that's funny. Because that's the rule of goblins. Or, no, house elves. Not goblins. That's the rule of house elves. Is if you give them one piece of clothing, no matter what it is, you do. They w it's considered a right, uh, they are free to be a free elf. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Why do you press this? Rebellion. What is this? Troll armor. This unusual set of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has survived all at all is astonishing. Astonishing since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor. It would understandably be prone to smash it in confusion or anger. I mean, maybe some of them are intelligent. Rebellion. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but that's funny that he thought it would be a good idea to give a, a house elf armor. It's like, you do know that it's clothing, right? <laughs> Her rules. Oh, oh, there it is. A 
box, the Quidditch chest that holds the um. I really don't understand. I don't remember the. The two balls that are on the sides, they move on their own and try to beat the, literally try to beat um. Beat up the other players, like all the players that are on the field. Um, the the one in the center is the one you throw through three, the three rings. But where's the golden stitch? That's what I want. Rebellion. Oh, what the? The Goblet of Fire casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted cast. Chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Tri Wizard Tournament. Since the contestants' establishment in the late 13th century, Rebellion. Just so not please. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep. Where, where is? Here. There we go. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yes. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Uh-oh. Which? Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Why do I get the feeling she's never... She has never lost a game. So she really does not realize the impact that the losing has. Hmm. Starting to really gather up here, it looks like. Um, there's no assignment. Looks like.
not the arm back just to kill him. Ah, uh, that's the one I'm missing, I think, right now. You see, Twitch had a bunch of, um, what you call it? Uh, Twitch has a bunch of additional content. What's this? Handle design. Wand handles? Oh. Oh, because it won't let me clear that until I have my wand. So I got a wand handle out of the whole ordeal. Alright. So. What do I need? Required repair of. Rebellion. Okay, so there's someone. Oh. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, More cyclists. Hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did, Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Oh, I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Hmm, that's interesting. There's names. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Why that? Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is a Togurk splash, whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating. 
all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that he, if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Arborough, Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Oh, that, that's one of mine. What are you up to now? Rebellion. What is this? Oh. The old librarian. <clears throat> One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students. It was known for his literal liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. Is that? I think that's the librarian. The current one. Up oh, there we go. Is Lower Hogstone still dealing with that nasty goblin? It can't have been good for business. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Why are you carrying a broom in a library? What are you about to do? Rebellion. Oh, I know where that is. Yep. Yeah. I'm a hairy wizard. I've achieved it. <laughs> okay. Revelio. I'll be honest, I feel like I'm playing um I feel like I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie more when it comes to collecting things. That's a... The Banjo series is a one I have to get to one day. One time. Golden Silk Rope. 
Because the whole game feels like a... It feels more like a massive collectathon. <laughs> Which I don't mind. I grew up playing those kinds of games. Oh, well, well, that's interesting. Now I have seven offers. Yeah, that's also that. Just it's, <laughs> that's what most of the stuff in the game is. The collectibles. It's just literally just outfits and just build your own Harry Potter character or wizard character in that instance. Um. Yeah, see, there's another one. A hat. Yeah. Well, it ain't 80. It should be 60. The deluxe edition is is the um, $80. Which, even then, there's not that much in the deluxe edition. Oh, so the price difference is there in there. Uh, collected a bunch of floating books. Let's go back to her and get get a jiggy. Hey, we're not playing banjo. <laughs> now I want to go play banjo. That's not what this is. Where, how did? Is it this way? Oh, okay. Liar. I know are you talking about? Where I can't win around here. Next time I shall keep Clopton's musings to myself. So he did say something about me. My lips are sealed. I cannot believe how much I hate you. You'd better watch yourself next time I'm near a manager. <laughs> oh, wow. What's got what I want to know about this drama? What's going on here? I can't wait until I'm a sixth year. Then I won't have to waste my time with herbology anymore. I'll miss Professor Garlic, mind. How are there so many lectures in herbology? You guys really don't understand, my do you? In herbology stems solely from my desire to excel in potions. If you can't brew with it, don't grow it, I say. My older brother used to terrorize me with a fang geranium. Can we go back to the drama, or is it, or was that over here? Okay, that's it. Uh. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, <laughs> lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, really? to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Mm. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want Oh, well, that's another handle. Hey, level seven. So, okay, are we gonna actually? It's one wrong button time. Go 
that. What the? This is the Hogwarts map. Remember, this is the world map. This looks like the world map. What's this? Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Hogwarts. Jeez! I thought it would just be Hogsmeade and Hogwarts. <laughs> this game might be a lot bigger than I thought. I might, I might not be able to do this in a week. What was that? Two better behave. Rebellious. Meeting you here. Hold on. What is that? The flat, the flattened armor. This set of armor belongs to Sir Scraggletoth, the headless, who unwisely challenged the mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Rebellion. That looks like a broom. Broken broom. This broken broom belong to Celine Wartnobay and is rumored to be all that remains after her. She insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow clergy. No one knows if she succeeded. Wait, was she trying to... Was she trying to get to the... I'd imagine the Hufflepuff common room smells Rebellion. That's what I want to know. Has... Has the Wizard World actually found a way to reach, like, space yet or anything? Or have they decided to, like... To even invest their time into trying to reach that far. Do you suppose Black's children are as condescending and ill-tempered as he is? Black only looks out for the pure blood. He well, here we go. About the rest of us. Does Professor Black have children of his own? Poor things that he does. I don't think a single student likes Professor Black. They may pretend to like him, but they don't. Goblin artifact. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the hog uh, hog's head inn with a wedge of a gargantula. Stuffed inside. Soon we need to mute it. I'd wager Ravenclaw Tower has some of the best views in the castle. Can we draw a typical stride right past the window? Then? Why would Slytherin pick the common room in the dungeon? So dreary. Perhaps that's the point. Where were the professors? Because the probably because the the reason why it's in the dungeon is because they say it's. Hogwarts is built on ancient magic, like the grounds. So the deeper you are, the more closer you are to a tower, in a way. At least that's what they believe. And Slytherins love their power. They're craved for power. Ah, my new charge. 
I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Sure. Oh, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Everything just popping in all of a sudden during the cutscene. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. <laughs> mm. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. <laughs> what is going on here? Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What? What's going on? Oh. See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Oh wow. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriff? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What is that? Oh, it's an owl. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. No. Yeah. Well, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Whoops. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on. I want to. Levioso. Accio. Reparo. Oh. 
Oh, it's probably incinerate or something. Oh! Okay. Come on. I'll be, I'll be glad once we get what you call it. Mm. The power to um, glam. Couldn't agree more. There's always someone snoring in our dormitory. One of the girls, too. And she talks in her sleep. Well, I woke up to one. Making it sound as tongue up my nose it was. What? Hmm. We'd have more fun in our dormitory if the prefect would conveniently go on holiday. A girl in our dormitory keeps getting packages of homemade pasties from her family. We shan't fit into our robes for next term at this rate. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Uh. Revelio. Yeah, no. Hold on. Sorry. Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Demi pants? A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Which means he's telling the truth. He's not Mr. just. Moon is quite the character. My sister Angie is lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Fires. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. 
We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Revelio. One moment. Revelio's curious cauldrons. This curious three stacked set of cauldrons outside of the place the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while immediately eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. <laughs> Wow. Can we go in? Oh yes, we can go in. Good to know for later. We're gonna have to explore this whole place. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes. Ditto me seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> There's premium with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can know. Okay. Jesus, this is massive. I need to stick this on. Top, switch on. There we go. And beast byproducts. A branch of the ring now. One shop owned and operated by the family since wow 382 BC. <clears throat> Tomes and scrolls. Let's get my wand first. My own personal. Let's jump over to check this. It's just like in the movie. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Well, ah, come with me. Let's find there is one other one, person that mm. has made a wine greater than his family, mm. and that was oh, Def himself. You. According to the stories. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. That is not the one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Yeah. That's the one based off of my Harry Potter fan club. When I had to sign up for it to get extra rewards for this. What? Oh, or looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um where are you? Perhaps you? You might 
might be the one. Here. Take it. Are you sure? No, that's the one. That's the one that's based off of my, um, what I've put into my witcher call it. But let's modify. Curious indeed. Mm, that's where it's fine. How intriguing. Nine and a half inches. Mm. What is the point of the socks? Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Like, I guess How this is just information, extra information. Known for producing power of magic, consistent, a great range, a great range of magic. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Ah, Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. So, my problem with it is. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Oh, there's variations. Hang on. Ooh. Curious indeed. Now, now we're getting some classic black. How intriguing. Oh, that's so interesting. We're gonna get one shot at this, to be honest. I feel curious indeed. Mm. How intriguing. Indeed. How intriguing. Yeah, I see changing my feeling standing somehow. Love more. I actually Indeed. like maple. Bending. And of course, dragon. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> An 
another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ha ha ha. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Now we have our wand. Oh, that's what these are. Their handles. Okay. Did I hold power? I was just. At least we got our wand, so... What matters to me? Oh, we have to put time to the sun. Much to do. It's actually so intensive. Uh, let's save. I'm going to take another break so I can actually. What are you wielding? So oh, that's your. Uh, that's, that's a pack. What is your staff? Sorry, you're. Oh. Some of my action. Yeah, I'm legitimately using my wand now. I have my own. But yeah, I'm gonna go get something to eat real quick. 